welcome to my neighborhood. Yeah, it's me again. Uh, this is my paradise um, in Brighton. I live here. I live just opposite there, and I will come here for a walk sometimes uh, after work, just to refresh a little bit before I go to my kids. So today I want to talk about the new series. Actually, it's not a new series. It's, um, it's the second season on Netflix and it's called Young, Rich and Famous Africans. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it because it's lots of drama. I mean, I watched the first series and I was like really mesmerized. Like, I love the drama, I love the storylines and everything. The, there's a, a diamond there, the Tanzanian uh, artist. Um, there's uh, his, his, his ex-wife. Uh, and uh, there's this girl called, um, how you call Fantana? Fantana? I think her name is. Oh my God, the girl is bomb. She's gorgeous. Like, not so much on the face, but the body. Um, when you go watch it, you'll see what I mean. And uh, she's been giving um, Diamond's uh, ex-wife a hard time. Uh, not a hard time, like kind of putting her in her place because she, uh, the ex-wife, feel like um, she, she, she's, she's, uh, she, Diamond belongs to her, and she has every say, of, like a say on who and who he doesn't have to go out with. Um, and also there's like two face in there and his wife Annie and poor Annie like the guys been che cheating on her since day one but she's so blind and in love uh, that she refused to like uh, acknowledge and she comes after anyone that like try to make her see realize what's going on and see the truth and like live her own truth and live her life really uh, but hey uh, he said some, he made some um, shocking uh, allegation, like shocking things about why men cheat. And it was just like, wow. I'm not going to spoil it for you. I want you to go watch it because it's drama. You know, my only thing about the series is like, yes, they're young and they reach African, uh, famous African. Um, I would like to know what they do on their daily life, like regarding their businesses. I know Diamond's an artist. Maybe, um, um, well, we know what happened in the music industry. He has to go in the studio and record songs and blah, 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 blah. But all the others, like his wife, his ex-wife, uh, I, I don't know why I can't remember her name, um, she she's a she's a serial entrepreneur and i would like to know what she does you know i would like to know uh what type of business she runs and everything like that um and maybe give give some some advice and uh that that's going to help motivate other inspire and motivate other young african to follow on their path and maybe do better um so yeah um that's my only my, my only thing but other than that i love <laughs> i love i love the it's so good watching love island or whatever go watch young and famous Afri um, africans and um, you're not gonna you're not gonna be disappointed so yeah tell me what you think when you watch it and uh, come back and give a comment of what you think of it and uh, yeah i can't wait for the next i binge watch it last on saturday i was like working and i was like also watching at the same time and uh, yeah i watch everything and i was so sad when it ended i can't wait to see what fantana does with diamond is she gonna be the next wife i hope not I don't think she's ready for that she's like very free she's very talented she's from Ghana uh, she sings uh, and uh, I she, she's just releasing her new single I think it's called your man or something like that and I think she's just like starting her career I don't think she's like 
looking to settle down or anything. I hope not because I think she has more to offer. She doesn't need to settle down just yet. She's a pretty girl. Look, she looks smart. She seems smart. Um, and she doesn't hold her words. <laughs> she called that lady so many like, you old, you this, you that. I'll drag you across. The oh my God, it was crazy. Go watch it. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Go watch it. It was, it was pretty dramatic pretty dramatic so and, and yeah and there's this guy another guy in there I don't know his name but his story is very sad and I'm gonna mention this that I know there's like Christian and like people yeah different beliefs in there but I think it's wrong for churches some churches to divide families um, so basically he's been shown by his family uh, disowned by his family because he went on Big Brother I think it was Big Brother, not Tanzania, but uh, I can't remember his country. Anyway, one of African country, um, and he went on Big Brother, and I think he had sex in Big Brother, and uh, I don't think it was the sex reason. Maybe the sex made it worse, but the fact that he even went to Big Brother was against his family church, and the church. Um, the church order his family brother and sister and everyone to stop talking to him and he, he's not allowed to have contact with any member of the church any member of his family i mean the guy is really sad and now right now he's been like trying to get a surrogate to carry his baby and i'm like why can't you just get a girlfriend if you want a family that much but hey i don't know his reason maybe he's just doesn't want to get married he just wants to have a child but who's gonna look after that child is he gonna be the surrogate or is he gonna be him because he seems like he's quite busy with his like businesses so I don't know why he just don't get like a serious girlfriend have a baby with and he started the family of his, of his own but his story was really really sad I really felt like and I'm like if the church Whatever is preaching the church, it's all about God, it's all about love, it's about helping and supporting each other. And for if someone has done something bad, it's, it's the solution, you see, it's the solution to turn, to throw that person away, turn your back on him and not talk to him like from his family. How does the family feel? His parents, his brothers and sisters, don't they miss their child, their brother? How do they think? I mean, he's very strong because some people will like go to crazy extent and like probably, you know, do crazy things. But I, I'm happy to see that he's been strong and he's doing great uh, in his career and his businesses. I mean, he seems wealthy. Um, so good on him. But it's really sad. I think our churches in Africa or any other churches should be a bit more linear, like maybe understanding and stuff like doing taking drastic uh, decision like that to kind of like yeah find a better way to deal with it not everyone want to be in a church not everyone want to be Christian so don't force it on anyone but it shouldn't stop you from loving your ch your son or your daughter or your family member or your friend you know anyway on that note this is what I wanted to go watch Young, Famous and Rich African on Netflix. I'm not being paid for this. I just want, I just like to promote Africans, you know, African excellent, African beauty. And this is why I'm directing you to go watch it. All right. You take it. Bye bye.